Hey, what's going on guys? Mini Musket back here with another brand new video. Uh, with this video, it, it's going to be a little bit different. It's not, you know, it's not commentary or talking about fit. In a, in a spec, it's talking about fitness. But I had one person in the comments on YouTube, and he, specifically, he wanted to see my nutrition plan. Uh, so we'll just go over a lot of it. Uh, we won't get too, like, far into it as in, like, macros or exactly the grams of protein and stuff like that or weighing it. Uh, we won't go into it. I don't want to make it too difficult, especially when people are just starting out and they want to have a good start of a nutrition plan. So that's basically what this video is to come out with, is letting people know that you can start good and th there's a good nutrition plan. Uh, it'll also go over a little bit of like pre-workouts or any other supplements that I uh, take as well that maximize the best of my ability in the gym. So we're going to go ahead and cut over. Uh, I'm going to be recording with my iPhone. I do apologize if it's in poor quality, but we're going to go ahead and jump over there to that. So here's basically what my diet consists of. You know, it's chicken, you know, something basic of what people probably think of like bodybuilding. You know, uh, chicken and rice is a specific to that as well but this is something simple that you can do if you're just looking to gain some a little bit muscle especially when you're starting out but um, do you just have to be really consistent and patient uh, with that diet so right here I have the chicken this is the best one you can see in that one as well as when it comes to seasoning so what I do with that is I put Creole on it some pepper and some garlic salt or garlic garlic on it uh, powder and it makes it like it has a better it will give you a better taste so it's not just that plain chicken so you're gonna be eating all day so you vi visualize this as well because that's just my fourth meal and it consists of the same things as these three so this is just a basic little start I have and this is gonna consist probably for the first two weeks and you can switch it up maybe do sweet potato shrimp or tuna a, fry, a little bit of like fried rice I mean, you can you can change it up how you want to, but you just have to be knowledgeable of what to put in. So you have strawberries uh, and blueberries and um, and banana. So there's a lot more consists of fruits in there. Uh, you just have those natural sugars, antioxidants, and acids that can uh, fight uh, fat and reduce fat, as well as a banana. Um, so those are really good. It's it, it's high in carbs. You have to just know that that bananas are high in carbs. Uh, with it being a fruit and it is high in potassium as well so it can help with your joints and can help with uh, muscle function as well um, so with the rice you know that's just getting some carbs in uh, being able to fit your carb uh, uh, daily intake in there spinach which is good for your digestion uh, that I you know um, have so you know, it is important I know you probably don't want to hear about it but uh, your digestion for uh, using the restroom and not being constipated so that that's very important uh, so the same thing there so in the morning when I wake up I usually have two bottles of water the reason why I have two bottles of water is it's it's important it's very important to be hydrated um, right here I have oatmeal apples and cinnamon by Quaker and I'll have that in the morning too so it's just you you know you're getting good fiber um, no fructose corn syrup, but you do have sugar in there that is sugar but that's that's not a, a that's just a lot of what the sugar comes from of during my day. It's just a good start having that. So when we go over to the uh, supplements here that we have, so we have red rum and insane veins by Insane Labs. So and it's just my opinion, and this is what has worked best for me. So this is basically what I use for when it comes to my exercise. Uh, as as far as and then I use creatine because creatine's been proven scientifically proven to like. Uh, increase by 30% on your lifts and uh, when it comes to strength and wise like that if you are specifically a runner or a cross country do not take creatine because creatine won't do anything for you so that's what I uh, suggest and as I said before drink plenty of water uh, I did leave out that I do drink a protein shake that consists of like 68 grams of protein that makes sure that I'm consisting that I'm getting enough protein for my muscle development as well as getting the fats and carbs in as well because that's just as important when it comes to protein when it comes to building muscle mass and all that so we're gonna go ahead and cut it and we're gonna go back to uh, over to the other video so as I showed you that's just a basic little um, plan that you can do or a little diet you can do and it kind of consists of like 
25, 26, uh, 1,000 calorie, or, I mean, 2,600 calories. So, for, especially with my body weight and being high to 5'6", and, um, and my uh, weight that I have about to be 150. So, it's a lot of just for me right now, it's just the maintaining of the weight. So, um, you know, that's, that's basically what I wanted to show. It, I know it's a short video, but it's basically just getting a little run through of exactly what I eat. And then and, and keeping myself consistent on eating that, of knowing that a lot will come with it. So if you like the video, go ahead and like it. And if you want to see more, subscribe and hit that notification bell. And we'll have more videos out.